Sully, week two, we got you in the shade today because I tell you what, man, y'all are out here working hard. Uh, just talk about week two. I guess right now, let's focus on conditioning and how to get how you're working on getting the players in shape and adjusted to this heat. Well, you know, it's one of the things where the more you're in it, the better off you're going to be. Uh, both groups have been working extremely hard. I mean, it's been it's been a heck of a preseason. I mean, it's been a good one. I mean, we're very pleased with the way things have went. Uh, everybody's fitness and conditioning is steadily growing and growing and getting better. Um, and I think, you know, we're going to be ready to go when that uh, August 24th date rolls around. All right, let's talk about that right now. What are you as coaches doing or focusing on the most to help these players get better for, uh, for the first game of the year? Well, I mean, a lot of what we've done to start is, you know, conditioning and technical stuff, you know, individual ball skill kind of things. Not so much teaching, but uh, at the same time of, you know, just sharpening it up. I mean, you know, it's just like a golfer. You go out and hit 500 drives, you're going to drive the ball better. If we hit 1,000 passes in preseason, we're going to be a lot better at the end of the day, and that's kind of our, our mindset right now is just to work on passing the ball, finishing, you know, technique of everything that we're doing so that when we, when we get ready, we can really start getting in, into – you know, tactics and strategy of the game, and we're going to be ready to go. All right, talk about the sophomores, their play, and helping you uh, uh, work towards those goals. Sophomores, you know, guys, sophomores have been doing great, leading the way. You know, they're really excited about this year. We were so close last year, you know, losing losing the semifinals in a tough game, and I know they're ready to, you know, take another chance, run at, uh, run at the ring this year. That's kind of one of the things I keep hearing at practice. I mean, I love hearing that, you know, hard work wins a ring. So they've been really working hard, and the sophomore girls, you know, they seem to have come back in really excited about this year. And, uh, you know, this group of girls is working extremely hard and we're excited. And I think I think we may surprise some people. You never know. Hey, man, I want to see you finish a little bit. Seconds. All right. And here's the thing. Some of you are like, I'm a defender. Well, you're expected to score goals too. All right. We're going to be a very offensive team. We're also going to play a great defensive kind of mentality. All right. So we're wanting everybody to be part of the offense. There's never – Everybody needs to know how to defend. Everybody needs to know how to finish. All right, so that's what I'm looking at. All right, who can finish? Now, this is this is figure eight finishing. All right, there's only one little added thing in here, and it's just the middle guy. This is going to be the finisher. Okay, you're just going. We're going to go through level one of figure eight. Uh, figure eight, what you just did, nice and simple. Just there, there, play to pass out there to him. But instead of like the guy getting the ball and dribbling down the line, he's laying it off for this guy coming in the center. And we want a specific run out of the guy in the center. And I'm not going to tell you anything about that run right off the bat. I'm going to see what we do. All right? I want you to think about it, and I want to see how you play it. Okay? The guy in the center is just, you know, in other words, after you make this pass here, instead of replacing him, you're just going to go to the center. Each time. Anybody confused on that? Instead of going all the way to the end, you just come to the center. You don't have to go as far. Okay? So, I want to see what your runs do. Because even if you're a defensive style player, you should know proper runs to make. And then let's see a couple of them and see how we do, and then, then we'll make some corrections and go from there. All right? I'm going to go three, I'm going to go three! One, two, three, three!